Hey yo! Another video from the Angry Photographer. Now I have to warn you ahead of time that this particular video might get a little too spicy for your sensitive little ears. So if you don't like it, you know, you could always tune it out or something. Anyway, I'm going to give you a secret lens you must have, number three. I know you're thinking, well how many fucking lenses are you going to say I gotta get? Well, every this is only the third one for Christ's sakes. Every one of them has been sub $200. Actually, I think they've all been sub uh, $150. This is the third one. And I'm going to also dispel a myth out here from these short-dicked assholes that think you need to have a gigantic penis lens to do every fucking thing. Hanging off the front of your camera. Destroying the bayonet mount. Trying to impress people. Look at my big fucking lens, girl. Look at that. It's expensive. Fuck you! Asshole! Ah, uh, so let's talk about the uh, lens you must get to number three. By the way, uh, I'm supposed to give a shout out to uh, Jay Loves. Hey! Uh, <laughs> What's the secret lens number three? The one you gotta get. The one you can typically get for 80 bucks to 100 dollars. Of course that might all change once I post this video on YouTube. eBay might go crazy and they might as well go vanish like that. Here we go. And then you're going to ask me, well, why do I need that? You've already recommended the 180 millimeter 2.8 back here along with the 70 to 200 f4. Well, I'm getting to it. Hold on, damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Built-in lens hood, right? What is it? What is it? It's a Nikkor 200 millimeter f4 AI lens. Okay? So what's so special about this? It's built like a tank. It's incredible. So what sets it out from everything else out here in the 200 millimeter range? 180 is close enough. Let's just call it a 200 millimeter. What's so special? Well, let's go down the list as to why this is lens recommendation number three, why you must get it, period. Typically, you can grab this for between... I grabbed this one, actually. I've got three of these. I grabbed this one for $30. But uh, typically, right now, uh, you can grab one for $60 to $80. Bucks. Nice minty shape on eBay. What's so special about it? It's a 200mm f4. I brought this lens out as a comparison. You all know the 135mm 2.8. This is lens recommendation number one. You can see the size comparison here. Okay. Yes, it is a very heavy lens. Yes, it is built like a tank, and yes, it will last multiple lifetimes. Why is this lens special? Let's go down the list and tell you why these other lenses have their own place and their own spectrum of use. Okay? Five elements on that lens. Why is that important? I'll get to that in a second. Second thing, great bokeh. Well, why is the bokeh better on this lens than any other lens? Nine bladed aperture. Aperture blades range between six and nine. And the more blades, the more round the bokeh is for background light. Okay? That's important. Unless you want an octagonal or hexagonal uh, light, because people don't like that. It's compositionally ugly. It's compositionally fucking ugly. Let's just make it really simple. Nine blades on the aperture. F4 aperture. So, that's not all. Hold on. Give me a second, all right? So, 80 bucks, nine bladed aperture, built like a tank, five elements. Well, why is that so important? As I've told you before, one thing I can't stand are all these assholes out here with short penis syndrome. SPS as I call it. Packing around the 70 to 200 or the 80 to 200s. Yes, I love both of these lenses. They each have their own narrow spectrum of use. But stop trying to imitate a sideline shooter at a national football or basketball game by packing around these huge whores everywhere. You don't need it. I will use this 200 millimeter F4 and stand on your chest and piss in your skull 200 times before you've taken five decent shots out of either one of these lenses. And why not recommend these? Because all these gear whores out there think, 
well, you know, my shit's expensive, and and you know, you get what you pay for, and 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 you know, you don't know why you're talking up all that cheap shit made back in the seventies because this has got vibration reduction, and 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 it's faster and it's better. Ugh. Asshole! No, it is not. Now, let's talk about the magic that you can't see here. That the gear whores with more money than fucking brains with short penis syndrome issues are buying these lenses. And I've recommended these lenses already, okay? I own them, obviously. I own three copies of this lens over here, so obviously I love it. They have a narrow spectrum of use. They're great. So let's talk about their shortcomings. What is wrong with this long lens that has a shortcomings? Sounds like a contradiction. Long lens with a shortcoming. What is it that you can't see that makes this cheap, cheap in price, not cheap in quality lens so fucking awesome that you ought to buy it right now? Five elements. 23 elements. On the Tamron 7200, 80 to 200, we got 16 elements. I call it iron facing. A lot of wedding photographers love whipping out, well, I'm going to impress them with my expensive fucking gear, you know. If I use something like this in a wedding shoot, you know, they would look at me like I was a cheap fucking bastard eating ramen noodles in a small apartment. Fuck you, it is about the pictures. I will fucking mow you down and beat you like a red-headed fucking goddamn stepchild with this lens over either one of these when it comes to a 200 millimeter portrait every fucking day. I will throw this picture out of fucking focus on the subject and still impress the client better than you will with either one of these. Why? Because these hamburger the light. Do you understand the difference between 5 elements and 23 elements and 16? What happens is, doesn't matter how good the fucking glass is, the best glass in the world is still the antichrist to light. What's the issue? Problems. We got problems. Lack of contrast, lack of depth, lack of detail, lack of color. This all boils down to flat light. What is supposed to make you a fucking pro is that your mastery over composition and the manipulation of light. These lenses are like eating a hot dog instead of filet mignon when it comes to light processing. Do you understand that? Simple analogy. Flat light sucks dick. It's diffused. It's too much glass. The best glass in the world. I don't care if it's a fucking Zeiss. Look, I've worked in the shops and I've handled those fucking $50,000 lenses, okay? Yes, that expensive. I've handled all that expensive shit. So top talking to me about, well, you know, money buys quality. You know, you get what you pay for. Typically that's true, but I've found a million exceptions of that in life. A million. Okay? Now, if I didn't actually show you these lenses, I would be getting so much hate mail on YouTube. Well, you're just recommending that cheap shit because you're a broke-ass bitch who can't afford the real shit. Fuck you! I own the expensive shit! And the rest of it. I'm recommending something that is good. I don't give a fuck what it costs. I'm trying to save people money, so kiss my fucking ass right in the crack. By the way, you will never find a more vehement group of insane cocksucking assholes than you will when it regards this one particular lens, the ultrasonic silent drive VC 70-200 Tamron. These people are insane. Well, my anal proctology tests on the mass spectroscopy says that it's more sharp than, than, than the neck core. Fuck! Not everything is sharpness. You could have a really sharp image out of a lens and yet still produce a really fucking shitty picture. This lens has 23 fucking elements in it. What happens is when the light passes through one element here, 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 does that 23 fucking times. It is like taking filet mignon and passing it through a grinder, a dirty grinder, 23 times and when you taste that the other is like... You know, dude, this tastes like a cheap McDonald's hamburger. That's what it does to the fucking light. 
That's why you end up with iron faces, as I call them. People take these wedding portrait shots at 200 millimeters of the, of the, of the husband or bride, or whatever the fuck, the giraffe at the zoo, because they got to zoom in. It's like, you know, that's nice and sharp, but the picture kind of looks like fucking shit. You know, it's all flat. There's no contrast. There's no saturation. You know, I don't understand, because the lens is so fucking expensive, it should just be beautiful. What happened? Ah, ah. 23 elements. Glass is the antichrist. Okay? Causes diffusion. Lack of contrast. Depth. Color. Detail. 16 elements. 23 Five fucking elements. Understand? Also, you don't need VC or VR. Vibration control or vibration reduction. Alright? I got by for 20 years before vibration control or vibration reduction existed and none of us bitches had a problem hand holding shit at one thirtieth of a second because we knew what the fuck we were doing and or we had a monopod or a tripod with us typically a monopod obviously a tripod's a pain in the crotch to pack around everywhere oh i gotta have vibration reduction yeah you need gold plated toilet paper holders too you fucking asshole no you don't idiot Reminds me of Gwyneth Paltrow bitching about how rough she has her life. You know, she's worth millions and millions. She's t oh my god, I'm just so tired. I have to call the nanny and I do so much shopping. My life is so hard. Oh, shut up, you bitch. Shut the fuck up. I get tick of these asshole gearheads saying, Oh, you gotta buy the most expensive shit because that produces the best image, you know? And that, and that cheap old shit is inferior. Glasses are... No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. There have been some improvements for better light dispersion, better light transmission with nanoparticle coatings. Air coating really hasn't changed any. They call it multi-coating. It's technically anti-reflective coating. It's a crystal coating. That, that bluish tint, that greenish tint, that purplish tint, that reddish tint that you see is a crystalline coating from one of uh, four different uh, compounds that's deposited on the lens in a vacuum chamber. And they accuse me of being a poor asshole because I show you this stuff, but I've got the expensive shit, so fuck you! I'm here to save you money. That's the only reason I make these videos. You know, I say, well, you know, here's this expensive shit, therefore you should buy that, you know? I've got four lenses and i got a lot of money, and since this is the best shit I hear, you know, that's what you should buy. Oh, well, who ever heard of this $80 lens, which takes a lot better pictures? Why, that can't be any good. That old shit isn't made anymore. I will fucking piss in your skull with this lens on a portrait at 200 millimeters long before. I will do a blindfolded and slightly out of focus and still piss in your skull better than you can do with this on a tripod. Don't believe me? Put me to the challenge. It hamburgers the light. Glass is the fucking antichrist. These assholes with small penis compensation thinking they need these big fucking elements. These huge 7200-8200. Now I love both of these lenses, fine. And the, uh, the, uh, Nikora 70-200 to VR2. But they have their spectrum of use. And they have their deficiencies. This has a deficiency too. It doesn't have vibration reduction, which I don't need. And it's not a 2.8, it's an f4. How much low light are you planning on shooting in, bitch? I can get perfect bulk out of this thing at f4. In addition to the fact that it's got a 9-bladed aperture, which makes far more beautiful bokeh than these do. Because of that beautiful 9-bladed aperture. Well, I didn't know about that. I've never heard of that. Like, I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about these other gear whores. These people are like, well, this lens is sharper. Well, so what? It's got destroyed contrast, depth, detail, and color. I thought you're supposed to produce a great fucking picture, not use an expensive lens, you motherfucker. Someone's not gonna go, oh my god, you know, this picture is just ugly, but it was produced with an expensive lens, therefore it is awesome. Pic Nobody's ever said that, ever! Okay? This is my lens recommendation number three, the 200 millimeter AI Nikkor. 80 bucks, F4 aperture, built-in lens hood, built better than your grandma's girdle, finer than the waxed crotch of a Swedish supermodel, less than a hundred dollars, 
$100, $1,500, $100, $1,500. I will pound your fucking ass with this lens every time. Does this have its spectrum of use, which will outpace this lens? Yes, and I know where that spectrum of use is. If you don't, then you're a gear whore, which is fine. It's great to be ignorant. It's great to be stupid. Well, I shouldn't say it's great, but you're supposed to want to learn. These people think, well, I've got the most expensive shit, and that's just the end of the story. Fuck you. You know, how are you going to match my $1,500 lens up with that fucking old $100 lens? It hasn't even been made for decades. Fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm saving you $1,400 here. I guarantee you'll take better portraits of this at 200 millimeters or this one. I'm just using this as a basic comparison. This is the 135 perfect portrait lens. Then we'll think 85 is a perfect portrait lens. Obviously, it's slightly too long of a crop factor on a DX, but I think it's perfectly fine. Most people do as well. Um, the 200 is better, a little bit longer reach if you want to get some portraits. Like I would use this, say, at a zoo, for example, where I wanted really good contrast and depth. Also, all these elements, 16 elements, 23 elements, it actually eliminates certain frequencies of light. So it diffuses the fuck out of everything. The light is passing through each one of those elements and doing this number. And by the time it passes through the rear element, it is like a bunch of brainwashed automatons hitting your digital sensor, and it creates this flat fucking picture that looks like a copy of a copy. People have gotten used to it. And the reason people have gotten used to it is because this is all they know. It's like, well, you know, it's taken with an expensive piece of glass, and, you know, it's really sharp. Yeah, but I can do better. Just as sharp. Much better color saturation. Much better depth of field. And the light has not been hamburgered. Any person that is a god in optics will tell you that glass is the Antichrist. Okay, it doesn't matter how good or expensive the light is, glass is glass is fucking glass. Alright? I recommend you do the 180 millimeter, basically a 200 millimeter, let's just say both the same, 180, 200, okay, close enough, 28. This lens new is a thousand dollars, it's still current production lens, you can usually find them, they're getting a lot harder to find now. Find them used in 300 and 400 dollars. Still highly recommend this lens, it's a 28. Okay, this is sub $100. It's an F4, it's not a 2.8 obviously. Can't shoot the moon for $100 or under $100. Now as much as I love the 180, also built in metal lens hood, this lens is rather fragile and it's bulky and it is heavy. I love the shit out of it. This has its own spectrum of use. I can almost, I can basically stick this in my jacket pocket, okay? F4, how much low light are you planning on shooting in? Hmm? You will love the results of the pictures produced with this lens. Just flat out, you will. Now, how about processing light like a hamburger? Too much glass shapes and reshapes the light and eliminates certain frequencies. It fucks the picture up. I'm tired of this. You get what you pay for, bullshit. Like I told you, if I didn't have these expensive lenses here and through all the other videos, I've already been attacked by some of you who've only seen a few videos. What are you, what are you promoting that old shit for? Don't you know that shit's no good because it's inexpensive? Fuck you, you're an idiot. You're just a fucking dickhead with more goddamn money than brains, alright? Trying to save people money and show them something like this for less than a hundred dollars that will, that will outperform this not across the entire spectrum of its use, obviously. Obviously, this doesn't have vibration reduction. Obviously, it's not a 2.8. But, for what a lot of people use this lens for, or want this lens for, for $1,400 less, this will pound the shit out of this lens. In its spectrum of use, where the two overlap. Is this a sports lens? You know, a basketball or football game? You know, vibration reduction, handhold. No, of course it's not. I'm not even trying to pawn it off as that, goddammit. I'm telling you what its use is. And then if you're looking for that use, instead of blowing 1500 bucks, you should get this lens. That's why I'm giving it my lens recommendation must have number three. You probably think, well, how many more fucking lens recommendations are you going to make? Well, not many. Christ's sakes, shit. They've all been less than $200. What the hell are you bitching about?
if you're bitching at all. <laughs> My shit's expensive, therefore it's better. Yeah, I think we've gone over that, right? Now, do you understand what light diffusion is, what I refer to as iron face? Now, if you don't believe me, I'll tell you what, just do a Google search. Type in Nikon 200mm 2.8 lens and see the pictures produced. And then type in this lens. Type in Nikkor 200mm f4 AI. And see the lenses, uh, see the pictures produced with it. Cross compare the two. Take a look at a bunch of little pictures side by side and you'll go, Oh shit, that tattooed asshole's making those fucking videos that cusses all the time. It seems he knows what he's fucking talking about. Not only he try to save me money, he's accurate. These pictures look better. Like I said, nobody's ever seen a picture and gone, you know, how expensive was the lens that took this picture? No one has ever said that. Well, there actually might be some assholes with their head up their ass in New York City or San Francisco that might have said that, but uh, I've actually never heard anybody say that at any point in time. Anybody's ever said it needs their shit kicked out of them. 23 elements, 16, 5, 9 bladed aperture, perfect bokeh, built like a fucking brick shit house. less than $100, will pound the dog fuck out of either one of these expensive zoom lenses. In its spectrum of use. Right? Pretty understood? I think we've got it, right? What else do you have a question about? If you like this video or the other ones, you can always send me a buck or two or whatever you want. I'm really trying to save you money. I'm not trying to shaft anybody or try to squeeze you for any money. You can tell me to go fuck myself. I don't care. Um, you'll never find a worse cult following than the people that actually gravitate and bow down to this lens right here. They just think it is God. It's got some minor issues. It is extremely quiet. It's very fast in focus. I own it for a reason. I don't own turds, so... You know, I'm not totally dissing it. But it's a $1,500 lens. Money isn't an issue here. I got the expensive shit and I got the cheap shit. But I don't mean cheap as in cheap shit. I mean cheap as in cheap cost. I'm so sick of assholes thinking, Well, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Right, right. <whistles> you tell them, Well, I can pound your ass and piss in your skull with this $100 lens on a portrait have much better saturation reproduction than you can with your fifteen hundred dollar Tamron. <laughs> it's not true because I paid so much for this lens. <laughs> Fuck you! Tired of these assholes. They're gear whores. They spend more time stroking their lenses than they do out shooting. I know some people on my channel have actually keep, Well, you always keep going over all these lenses and all the lenses that you got. You know, fuck you. You're not a shooter. You're just a gear whore because, 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 because you own 60 and 70 and you own hundreds of lenses. And, you know, that means you're not a shooter. No, it doesn't mean that. It means I'm making these videos to save you fucking money. Because I've seen it for so many years. People are like, I can't decide what to buy, you know, I just bought an expensive camera, and you know, I don't know if I should buy this expensive shit. Or what to buy. You know, I... I had a lot of people respond recently, like on the 50mm and uh, the 135mm, uh, and like the 60mm Nikkor, and like the Tekina. I had a couple of pros, and I mean real pros, not like, you know, I'm a pro. Real pros. Like, I've never heard of this lens before, I watched your videos, and... And, uh, one of them's a chick heading over to Europe, and uh, she's like, Oh, I got this lens, you're right, it's just so awesome, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I might be a cussing asshole, and I might be a little bit profane, but I kind of know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to save you money. So if you got any questions on any videos that you'd like me to do, some of them are kind of crazy, you know, make, make a kind of rational recommendation. Some of the crazy shit you recommend to make a video about, I'm like thinking, mm, yeah, okay. Mmm... Make it rational, sensible, something you think at least a few people would want to know about. Flat light's no good. Too much glass, evil. Good. Inexpensive. Please learn to differentiate cheap and cost versus cheap and quality. 
and stop getting this brain in your bug in your brain and thinking, well, expensive shit's better. Because this lens on Amazon's got a five star review, and I've never heard of this lens, therefore I need to buy this. I'm gonna save up my pennies and buy that one. Oh my god. Yes, it's got an extremely high review. This lens has been made so much longer. I've had people already throw some hissy fits at me on YouTube. You fucking asshole! This lens is nowhere near as sharp as this lens. That 80 to 200... Fuck you, I know better. 16 elements, 23 elements. This lens has been made so fucking long for a reason. Okay? It's made in Japan. It's built like a tank. It's all metal. It's not as fast as this Tamron is. It doesn't have vibration reduction. But it's a $1,200 lens. You can find them used all day long for 500 bucks. Other lens I recommended earlier on, and I still recommend, but they're very hard to find, is the 70 to 210 uh, f4 Nikkor. It's an older lens. It's an f4 also. It's a Zim Nikkor, but you can obviously see huge difference. This is also, I wouldn't call this a fragile lens, but it's equally fragile to the 180, 28 back here. This lens is a fucking tank. I'm not saying you could, uh, you could club thugs with it, but it kind of comes close to that. All glass is fragile. But this is built like a fucking tank the last multiple lifetimes, and it's the fucking shit. It's a nine-bladed aperture, built-in metal lens hood. It is rather heavy, but it's also very compact. Sub $100, and I will use this, and I will... Anybody that thinks they could take this tequila out and take better portraits, like animal shots, or portrait wedding shots at 200 and take better pictures than I can with this $100 lens, I will piss on your skull and stand on your chest and laugh the whole time. Oh, you're too crude. I don't like you. Well, okay, whatever. I'm trying to save you a buck, alright? Nah, I'm really not that angry. I am kind of tired of some of the gear sluts out there. Well, my shit's expensive, and I'm great, and I'm going to walk around with this big fat lens, and I'm going to impress the chicks that I got money. It's kind of like some of these little squirrely peckerheads driving around in Ferraris. Hey, baby, look what I got. You want to fuck me? Oh, my God. Money does not always buy top quality. Often it does, but even though it buys top quality, and I can call this top quality, it isn't buying the best, baby. Because the best glass in the world still fucking sucks. If it's too much glass. Got it? Get it? Good. You like this video? You could always send me a couple bucks, or you could tell me to go screw myself. Whatever floats your boat. Rock out with your cock out and make the right decision. Got it? Good.